Hello and welcome back to the pre-match show as Colchester United take on Stockport County in a Skybet League 2 clash here at the Job Surf Community Stadium. We're going to hear from the manager Danny Cowley first himself, but before we do that, you can head to our website or our social media to see what team he has selected for this evening's fixture. So now let's hear from the man himself. I always get the impression you want to look forward and not look back. How easy or difficult has that been to look forward to Stockport rather than look back at Wrexham? I think for, for me personally, it's always easy to look forward because I'm always excited for what is to come. And I wake up this morning, 19 days left, six games to go and, and everything to play for. And I've been lucky enough to, to meet and to work with some extraordinary people in my life. And uh, I've never met anybody that can change history and can go back and, and affect what's happened in the past. So always to, to take the learning and to move forward. And, you know, I thought Saturday, even though it was a painful experience, was a, was a positive one because I thought we learned a lot. I thought we, um, we, we learned a lot about ourselves, um, particularly when we, when we go into leading games. Um, how we want to be and what we want to stand for and yeah it was good that the learning came now and we still have six games to go rather than the learning come much later because then maybe you don't have so, so, so much time to, to, to influence what happens next but yeah for us we want to, want to keep playing we want to be technically braver and physically braver in, in, in those moments and I think if we'd, we'd put the 90 minute performance together we'd have beat Wrexham um, I thought we were the better team I looked at it back, I watched it back and yeah, clear in my mind we were, we were the better team on the day. Uh, we didn't get what we wanted, we know why. I think sometimes the why's are really important. Um, I think the best teams always understand why they win and, and maybe why they come up short. So um, yeah, we, we worked that out and we, we, we move forward today and, and, and look forward to training. And it's going to be another tough game against another side that are pushing for promotion out of the league. What are you expecting from Stockport? Yeah, I think Stockport County are the best team in the division. Um, we've obviously prepared twice for them, so I've watched them a lot. I've watched them live, uh, at Salford and, and live against Crawley. So we, um, yeah, we've, we've, we've seen them. I think that they're a team that can have two faces. I think they're a team that have real technical players and that can play through the lines and speed the game up and can be really well coached. Um, but I also think they're a team that can, that can play more directly and play quicker into, into Wooten and uh, Valafi and Madden and boys like this playing off of them and being a real threat that way. So they're a, they're a really good team because they can adapt their game, which is what you need to do when, when you look at the, the stresses and the demands of, of, of a League Two season. Yeah, and in an age where analysis plays such a big part in football, how important do you feel as a head coach to go and watch that opposition live and see him with your own eyes? I think for us to always see the game live is really, really important whenever we can. And sometimes it's difficult because the games come so thick and fast for ourselves. And unfortunately, I haven't mastered the art of being in two places at once. But, but no, to see the game live, I think is important. I think, you know, you get, you, you get the context and you get the feel of the, the players. You also get the, the sense of the group and the body language and how they, and how they, they the, 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 the opposition feel. And of course, yeah, it's, 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 it's great to be able to have this information and, and to use this information. And I think then the key is then in terms of analysis, it's, it's for us as coaches to know everything about the opponent, but then to, the, the, the skill comes in then being really concise and making sure you get the right dose to the players and you tell them the important bits and how you prioritise that information, I think, is, is key. And of course, it's a very busy period and you've said it before and I suspect you'll say it again, it won't be about just the 11 that start on Tuesday. It'll be about far more players than, than that 11 for the rest of the season. Absolutely. It's going to be a whole squad effort. You know, I have to say boys like Riley Harbottle, Jaden Richardson and, and Connor Wilkinson, they weren't in the squad on Saturday. Really good players at this level. Um, they trained brilliantly, so professionally. Um, and for me, this fills me with, with not just pride, um, but also it, it, it fills me with, um, yeah, I think, I think I have a lot of respect for them as, as human beings. And um, yeah, it, it gives me lots of confidence in the group. You know, we're, they're a really good group. You know, I told a story before the game on, on Saturday about Matt Jay. And uh, we come off training on Friday, uh, just before the Wrexham game. And the previous Monday we'd played away at Tranmere. And... In the lead up to the game, Samson had lost a stud um, and didn't have a stud and we didn't have a replacement, unfortunately. Um, 
and and so so we then get to the game on we get to the end of training on Friday preparing for for Wrexham on the Saturday and uh, he's in the boot room MJ and I said what are you doing he said oh, I'm just taking a stud out I'm taking uh, out my training boots so that Samson because because I've got a feeling Samson won't remember and and of course Samson didn't and and he gave him that stud on before the game and you know it's a really small thing but a small behaviour but I think it says a lot about our group you know MJ is a boy that's had so much success at this level been a top top player at this level and, and hasn't had an opportunity really with, with, with us maybe early on the Swindon and the Bradford game but very little opportunity and he could easily be down and let the individual disappointment get big um, but he doesn't he trains brilliantly every day I think he you know that little behaviour shows how much they are with the team I think it says so much about him as a player and as a person and I just thought that was class and uh, for us that togetherness and that spirit um, and having each other's backs is going to be really really important in the running It's great to hear from Danny there and as he says we're all hoping that the disappointment of Saturday will be turned into three points uh, today. Just a reminder that if you can't be here at the Jobs of Community Stadium with us this evening, you can follow all the action live with a £10 uh, video I follow pass that you can purchase uh, on our website. So do head there if you can't be here uh, tonight. Now we'll be looking back at the last time we faced the Hatters. So let's remind ourselves what happened. It wasn't the result we all wanted last time we faced the Hatters, but let's hope that that won't be the case this evening and we'll be celebrating uh, all three points in an hour and a half or so. Now, someone who will be hoping to make an impact this evening will be Arthur Reed, and he was speaking before the match. So let's hear what he had to say. Arthur, a lot of disappointment and frustration after the game. Can that be used as motivation for tomorrow night's big game against Stockport? Uh, yeah, I think it has to be. I think it has to be used um, to motivate us. Um, we're at a crucial part of the season now where, where we need to pick up points. But, you know, we all know, we all saw there for the first hour that the quality in the squad's there. It's just a case of uh, either scoring more goals in those dominant periods or, or making those dominant periods last the whole game. Yeah, for sure. I think we've, we've shown that all season, really. Like spells, long spells in games where we've dominated teams that are you know, up there in the table. Um, but yeah, we just need to like capitalise on it more often uh, and yeah, either score more or concede less. Yeah, and, and obviously we, we, we're doing one of those things a, a lot better than earlier in the season. We're managing to restrict teams, we're in games, we're competitive, we've conceded much, uh, you know, less goals than, 
than mm. we were early on, but you know, both sides of what you say there have got to come together, haven't they? Yeah, for sure. I think definitely over the last 13, 14 games, we have been very competitive with every team we've played. Um, but yes, again, changing them points or losses into, into three points. And obviously still the majority of our games uh, left are going to be at home. How important is it to have an atmosphere like we had on Saturday with the crowd getting right behind the lads? Yeah, for sure. I think that was, um, yeah, that was really impressive. Um, and yeah, four out of the six games at home, so that will that will help us a lot. And what, what might help or might not is the fact that we have got games in hand, but of course it's making sure that we, we make those games in hand count. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, based off where we are in the table, we have to we have to win games. Um, so hopefully, them them games in hand will yeah will be important for us. I mean, you meant you mentioned where we are in the table. Do the lads pay much attention to that, or is it just concentrating on the next game and and putting a, a performance and a result together for that game? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both, really. Um, obviously, you look at the table, you look at who Sutton, who Forest Green, who Grimsby play. I think that's like anyone would do that in that situation. But again, for us, we have to focus on our games. Um, and yeah, we have to focus on us picking up points more importantly than anyone else. It's great to hear from Rudy there. And as he says, let's hope that we'll be able to use the disappointment from Saturday and turn it into uh, three points. Now, before I let you go, just a reminder that you can head over to our website or, or our social media channels to see the team that Danny Cowley has selected for tonight's game. Uh, if you can't be here with us, just remember you can follow all the action live with our £10 uh, iFollow video pass uh, as well. Right, now it's time for you to get out there and cheer on the U's as they take on Stockport County.